All right, Mize, and obviously we, we know about him, and I think you just kind of take it one of two ways, either, and, and, and I think you will. Either, you know, you, you enjoy and embrace the, uh, the challenge that we have, uh, or you cower down, and I, we're not gonna cower down to him. The entire reason for the pack is for nights like tonight, right? To where we can together um, take, take this guy down. The approach has to be to never give up bat speed. What I don't want is for you to give up bat speed and roll over and just have some lazy swing on a splitter where you, where, where you give up bat speed just to ground out. I want you to swing. This guy's given up, the one bad stat that he has is he's given up seven home runs. That's more than any one guy on our pitching staff. We gotta somehow punch this guy in the mouth, whether it's somebody hits a home run early, hits a big double early, to where he gets knocked on his heels a little bit, because I think he feels, I gotta shut people out. Um, and you saw last night, save one inning, you know, they, they hit the home run and that's about it. Um, and Feigl's got just as good a stuff as Rolo. I don't care how good this guy is, um, we're too good to just give away at bats. And if you wanna give them away, just go sit down. Like, if he's too good for you, let us know before the game. Like, if that looks too good for you, we'll put somebody else in. We're way too good and way too competitive and way too far along to give him too much credit. Um, and so you gotta take that approach. And if you're not going to, don't play. Um, so uh, be excited about the opportunity to get after him. This season, Auburn's Casey Mize has proved to be the nation's best college pitcher and is poised to be the top pick in the upcoming draft. With that, the Rebs knew the challenge would be a considerable one. But the Wolfpack was ready to hunt. Not very often as a coach, you lay out a game plan and, and our players ran off the game plan exactly uh, how we hoped they would. And in baseball, that doesn't happen all that often. Runner twice from the stretch delivers. Swung on, lined into right field, pretty well stroked. Diving for it, past the right fielder, Williams. Dillard will score, Keenan will hold it first as Williams able to reach right behind him and pick it up and throw it in. And Tyler Keenan gets an RBI single and the Rebels lead one and a... Swung on, fly ball, left field, well stroke, Cockrell's hit it, good baby, goodbye, two run homer, Chase Cockrell, and the Rebels lead three to nothing. Chase Cockrell's got the pop, DK got it up in the air, and Rebels get a three spot here in the second. Three to nothing, Ole Miss has jumped on Casey Mize. I was running around second base, and I was... I was very tingly feeling, and for me to get as emotional as I did and as loud as I did is very uncommon. I'm kind of a laid-back person, and for that to happen was just really cool. Where we struggled last year was that 7, 8, and 9 hole um, where we just didn't swing the bats very well. And this year, like you said, it's almost an interchangeable lineup where, you know, 7, 8, 9 could be 1, 2, 3, and 1, 2, 3 could be 7, 8, 9, and that's what makes a dynamic offense. Two balls and no strikes. Same count that he got the single off of him in the Second inning. Yeah, they went right at him with the fastball out over the plate. Tyler, obviously, a very good swing. Base hit to right field. I will be surprised if he gets another fastball right here. They're giving him the right field corner again. The right fielder, Williams, pulled toward right center just a little bit. That's gone! Get up, get up, get up! I can't remember another freshman handling it the way he has, and, and both, you know, offensively and defensively. Everybody, you know, talks about the offense, and and and, and well, they should. I mean, he's had a tremendous offensive year, especially in Southeastern Conference play. And I mean, I think there's an argument to be made for Tyler Keenan as the SEC Freshman of the Year. See how the season ends. He hits a fly ball here to left, going back to the wall. Davis still going back, reaches up and cannot make the catch. What a night for Tyler Keenan. Five runs, six hits for Ole Miss off of Casey Mize. Mr. Invincible, not invincible against this Ole Miss offense so far. Our offense really uh, rises to the challenge, and um, to face Casey Mize is just an amazing opportunity. I mean, he's obviously going to go in the top ten picks, if not the first pick overall this year. So to go out there and face him with all of his pitches and just execute a plan like we did was amazing to watch. So back-to-back -back breaking balls to Brett Wright. We'll see if Feigl triples up on the slider. He does, and he gets Brett Wright to wave at it. A couple of strikeouts in the top of the first. 
Brady Feigl says, all this talk about Casey Rise, don't forget about me. He moves his whole body, which makes the pitch look better. The one-two pitch. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And Feigl showing a little emotion coming off the mound. Well, he knows he's got good stuff tonight, DK. There is no doubt he's feeling good. What a start. Williams right here in the fourth. The 0-2 pitch now to Will Holland. Yeah! One of the best performances I've ever seen in like college pitching. Um, we watch videos and stuff of you know people back in college like Trevor Bauer, Garrett Cole, and just, you know other superstars. You look up and you see their line at the end. It's like nine innings, you know, 13 Ks, and you know, maybe one earned run or like no walks, and that's what he did. Mike Bianco headed to the mound, and this crowd sensing that the night is done for Brady Feigl. You're staying in the game. Hell yeah, you're going to get a ground ball right here, all right? So the first pitch will be fastball away, okay. all right? You go after him right now. Yes, but sir. you got to get you started. Don't be, don't nitpick, man. Right? Attack yeah, the zone, the all right? Yes, attack, attack the zone, yes, all right? Sir. Go after him. Yes, fastball away. Uh, it was really just a confidence builder, you know? and. Hearing you know, the crowd cheer when he first came out, that, that was cool. But then when he left me in and they got even louder, you know, that was a energy boost and had my adrenaline going a little bit more. And, um, you know, to play in front of fans like that, it's amazing. This is pitch number 100 of the game for Brady Feigl. Yeah! Yeah! 100 pitches. Feigl's night is likely done. That was a team win. That was awesome. We needed that. That was big. We, we talked about it before that it takes, you know, not only a great plan, which offensively we were awesome tonight, right? And you played like the best offense in the country, which you are. Uh, but also to beat, you know, the best pitcher in the country, you got to match him. You got to get a guy on the mound. 12 strikeouts, one walk. Just one of the best nights I've ever seen here, man. Hey, hey, come here. I appreciate it, but I'd rather you take I'm not, it. No, Coach, you deserve it. Have you gotten the ball yet? Uh, yeah, years pass. I have. Why don't you get to keep the ball I'll keep the shirt? You sure? Yeah, because I got a ball in my pocket, all right? Because right? well, you. you, you've gotten the shirt before, right? Yeah, I have. Can I have a hug? <laughs> yeah. This, oh, Good performance, man. Thank proud you. of you. Nice Thanks, job. Coach. That's what uh, we, we saw all fall. He's done that this year, and today he was just electric. And uh, when he's like that, he's as good as anyone. Uh, and then our offense put up a couple runs early, and then from then on, Brady was cruising, and that's how you beat a good pitcher like that.